Seeing, yeah, uh, check it, yeah. Look, heavyweight, this the heavyweight. Heavyweight, this the heavyweight. Heavyweight, this the heavy. That whole masturbating thing, I just feel like a waste, man. Afterwards. So. What? What do you mean? You just bust your nut like in your hand, and you're just looking at your hand. You're thinking, "Fuck! Like, what did I just do?" Yo, yo, yo! What up, YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay San. Coming back with another one, man. Y'all already know the most hot and woke us up this morning. Let's take this opportunity to be great. You know what I'm saying? But let me show y'all what it looked like outside real quick, man. You know what I'm saying? It's another beautiful day. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got y'all see that light shining, man. Y'all see that sun back there, man. Y'all see the clouds, man. Listen, if you up, you got to know that you winning. You know what I mean? Don't just think you winning. You know, some people be like, well, I think I'm winning. I think I'm doing good. Nah, bro, if you up and you been tapped by the most high to get out there, you got another opportunity to be great. No, you got to know you winning, bro. And that's exactly what we doing, bro. Every day we taking advantage of the opportunity because we know we winning. We know we got a chance. We know we got a shot. And guess what? We going to take that shit just like Steph. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. But I wanted y'all to see that clip, though, man, because listen, dog, that's exactly how I used to feel. I used to be like, man, what the fuck am I doing to myself? Something just ain't right. You know what I'm saying? And I used to have that same feeling when I was doing drugs, when I was drinking, all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I was just having like, it was just, it was something in my mind was telling me like, bro, like you are doing so much damage to yourself. You know, and then it was strange when I slowly but surely started feeling that way when I was watching porn. You know what I'm saying? When I was engaging in PMO, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like, yo, something ain't right about this. You know what I mean? As a man, like, yo, like, what if I get caught doing this? You know what I'm saying? What am I doing? Why do I, what, what, what trance was I in that had me just lusting so bad to where I needed to look at a screen where I needed to go on these websites, where I needed to download these videos and watch this shit just so I could feel good momentarily. What's really going on in my life to where I have to do this, to where I feel like I need to escape from my reality so bad, where I need to give in to my carnal desires so bad to where I'm really using up my energy to do this, my time to do this. You know what I mean? I'm really sacrificing myself and everything about me to do this, wasting away my life force energy. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you, bro, it's literally like you slowly killing yourself while you do that shit, bro. And I remember, right, when I used to go to the liquor stores, because I was going to the liquor store, the same liquor store every day. Now, you know it's bad, right? And I'm getting fifths of cheap ass vodka, bro. It's bad when the clerk, the guy, the owner of that liquor store asking me like, bro, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? What are you doing? He used to, and this is how he used to talk, yo, no bullshit. Jake, what, Jace, what are you doing, Jace? What are you doing? Jace? You know, as he checking me out though. As he continue, beep, as he, you know what I'm saying, standing there, as he taking the car, you know, he's still like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Because he knew that I was killing myself, bro. You know what I'm saying? He knew, you know what I mean? And it was just like, yo, you know, when you did, when you talking to a grown ass man, it's like, yo, you can't tell me no, give me what I want. I'm paying for it. And at the end of the day, it's his business. So, you know, can't blame him. You can't point the finger at him. You can't point the finger at anybody else but you. That's why he was asking, like, what are you doing? Because I damn near was asking myself, what am I doing? I didn't know what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? But deep down, I really did know what I was doing, bro. I was low-key trying to kill myself. I low-key hated my life. I actually high-key hated my life. That's why I was continuing to do what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? And you really got to question yourself when you out here doing some of the things that you doing that's stealing away from your energy, stealing away from your light, keeping you away from the most high, bro. And it's like, yo, man, when you really like get down to the core issues, bro, 
you know, then you start to figure things out, you know, and you try to make these attempts to, you know, get rid of this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you got to do with pornography, bro, because it's not talked about enough, but it's controlling a lot of motherfuckers lives. It's controlling a lot of motherfuckers action. It's controlling a lot of motherfuckers energy. And then guess what, bro? Anytime you give some dark shit like that control, bro, listen, it's tough. It's tough to regain your strength. You know what I mean? It's like being lost and trying to find yourself again. We see a lot of guys go through it after, you know, divorces and breakups and all of that shit. When they in recovery and all of that shit. Because anytime you in that trance, anytime you in that darkness, anytime you lost, you know, you away from yourself. You not in your life. You know what I'm saying? Everything about you has been lost. Everything about you has been dumbed down. Everything about you has been put in, into into seclusion, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Because you literally hide everything about you. You hide yourself. You don't want to be seen. You want to be like recluse, like one of them spiders that stay under them logs or stay behind shit, stay under shit because you know deep down that you're killing yourself. You know deep down that you're ashamed of yourself. You know deep down that this ain't something that's natural. You know what I'm saying? And when you're doing unnatural things, bro, listen, you embarrassed about that shit. You know what I mean? And it'd be funny, like, how they try to normalize this shit, bro. Like, how they pushing these celebrities, how they pushing porn on these motherfucking social media websites, how they low-key trying to push all of this shit. That's what they trying to do. You know what I mean? And for real, for real, even the shit that's going on with these young kids and all of this shit, with the trafficking and all of that shit, they low-key trying to usher in that shit to be normal, bruh. They trying to usher in that shit. They trying to make pedophilia normal and all that shit. And then when you think about it, bro, all of it is sick. You know, and you don't want to have any part to that shit. Any part to that dark ass energy, bro. Because a lot of those, you know, actresses that you see in that shit, they didn't they they suffering, really. You know what I'm saying? They, they dealing with issues and demons that, listen, bro, you open the portal as soon as you look at that screen. You open the portal as soon as you start lusting. You open the portal as soon as you start jacking off, bro, and looking with your eyes. Your eyes are the window to your soul, and you is invite you inviting all of them demons in. It's like Ghostbusters, right? When they used to slide the thing out there, and they push the button for that door to open to suck the ghost in. That's what you do when you open up those windows that's what you do when you open up those websites that's what you do when you begin to touch yourself and you get aroused to that shit bro but motherfuckers don't want to talk about it motherfuckers don't want to discuss it motherfuckers want to keep sweeping it under the rug motherfuckers want to act like they ain't doing it bro but when you used to do it when you didn't got on this journey you know motherfuckers that still engaging in that you know what i'm saying you know it you know what I mean? You know it, bro. You can just see it in their actions and all of that shit, bro. You can feel it in their energy, man, that something is is deep down they hide, bro. You know what I'm saying? And this and this it's like not even like a thing where you trying to gauge motherfuckers. You don't want to think I don't give a you know, you don't want to you ain't trying to think about that. That's other motherfuckers business. But when you used to do something, it's no different from when you were struggling. When I was struggling as an addict, when I was struggling as an alcoholic and all of that shit, I could just see it. You know what I mean? I know when people is going through something, bruh. And listen, dog, I want to tell y'all, bro, for, for some of y'all that's still struggling, for a lot of us, man, that's still going through it and still fighting this good fight, bro, you are not alone. You know what I'm saying? And now, since you getting on this journey, bro, you doing something about it. You putting yourself on a different level. You like, nah, bro, I ain't about to fall for this shit that they got going out here. I ain't about to be weak like they want us to be out here. I ain't about to be low energy like they want us out here. I don't want to. I don't want my motherfucking soul getting infiltrated by these demons like they want out here, bro. They want you to give in to this shit. They want you to give in to it, but you can't. You can't, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, yo, with everything that's going on, man, listen, like now ain't the time to be dumbing yourself down, bro. Now ain't the time to be making yourself weak. Now ain't the time to be doing shit that's making yourself get worse and, and you not being the best that you can be. 
You know, it's it's time to change everything. Everything that we do, it's time to rewire how we think, bruh. It's just time to switch it up. Bottom line, it's just time to switch it up. And that's with everything. We ain't just talking about porn. We ain't just talking about semen retention. We talking about life. And when you get on this journey, we talk about everything because this is life. You got some people that come to this channel and talk about, man, he ain't said nothing about semen retention. He ain't said nothing about nothing. He talking about haters. He talking about this. He talking about that. I talk about life. I talk about life because this journey is life. We deal with a lot in this life. So guess what? When you dealing with a lot and you don't know how to handle it, you tend to reach for things to try to cover it up. You tend to reach for pleasure. You tend to reach for fast food. You tend to reach for drugs. You tend to reach for porn. You tend to reach for escapism, bro. And we just trying to figure out other ways, different alternatives, more healthier routes, more healthier routes, bro. And this will help you find that out. This will help you discover that. This will help you discover you. Because a lot of us then been lost and they had to claw back. We don't never want to get like that again. I ain't never trying to be in that position again because that position fucking sucks. It sucks doing things to yourself that's taken away from everything about you. You wasting away everything about you that make you you. So guess what, bro? You gonna underachieve in everything in your life, bro, because you not yourself, bro. How you think Michael Jordan wouldn't be able to perform, right, the way that he was if he wasn't himself? See, what people need to stop doing is just viewing a lot of these things that they see as just a, a, a raw talent. You know, they just view it as something that somebody know how to do. No, even with me, bro, like, it's no way that I can get on this screen and talk to you if it's not me, if I'm not whole, you know, and it's the same thing that goes with people that's on the court, that's on the football fields, bro, your personality is in your game. You know what I'm saying? So you got to know that about you. You want to be all of you. You want to be the best of you so you can perform at the highest rate. You know what I'm saying? In every field that you in, you want to be the best you. You want to be in the best shape. You want the best confidence, the highest confidence. You want your masculinity where it need to be, your testosterone where it need to be. You want your senses where it need to be, bruh. But you can't have that if you own drugs. You can't have that if you not you. You can't have that if you spilling away your life force energy. You can't have that if you lusting. You can't have that if you trying to escape away from your reality because you not you. You lost out here. So how the fuck Jordan, why was he going to be able to get these rings if he wasn't all of him? If he wasn't himself on that court, if he wasn't, if he didn't have a tongue out dunking, if he didn't, you know, hang in the air and do some amazing shit, if he didn't have that turn around J, you know what I'm saying? If he, if he wasn't himself, he'd be doing some dumb shit out there. He'd be trying to shoot threes like Steph. You know what I'm saying? He'd be out there dribbling like, like James Harden. He'll be out there all over the place. And we people will be like, yo, that's not Jordan, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you, you got to realize, bro, your DNA go into everything that you do. So you want to be full out here. You want to be who you are. If you not who you are, bro, listen, dog, listen, dog, you ain't gonna never achieve the things that you want to. You never gonna be at the height that you want to. You never gonna be at the level that you want to. So why continue to do the things that's just gonna take and not give? Why be around people that's just gonna take and not give? You know what I mean? Why? 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 It's not gonna help you. It's not gonna help us. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to uh, share that with y'all, man, and let y'all know we got to keep going, bro. We got to be, it's, it's all on us, and what we doing is right. So we ain't going to be doing shit that's just going to be like, yo, where we questioning, bro, because we be knowing shit ain't right. You know what I'm saying? We be knowing shit ain't right. We know what we doing and some of the ways that we thinking and some of the activities and the shit that we used to do just wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? So what are you doing? Just like the motherfucking dude at the liquor store. What are you doing, Jace? What are you what are you doing? Man, what the fuck am I doing? I'm killing myself. You got you can't be, we can't be on that, bro. So you gotta understand that, man, and keep moving forward. Don't go back to that bullshit. 
keep fighting. You know what I'm saying? And that's my word, man. My name JC and the CN Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. First, I'ma get on my grind. Then, second, stop wasting my time. On shit less important. If ain't about money, I'm going the other direction. And third, I'ma do what I gotta to eat. Fourth, I'ma sew up the streets. Fifth, I'ma never quit dropping this heat. So, as long as I'm breathing, you better get used to me. Sixth, I'ma get.